Questions for coach? The uh, response in the third quarter there when they cut it down to 13, you guys went on an 8-0 run. It's not something that you've been doing lately, responding to those. Um, what, went, when it, what went into that response there? Just trying to settle it down and, and get the quality looks and shots that we wanted. Uh, we had some mistakes early on defensively that allowed them to kind of score better in that quarter than they had in the first half. And so, uh, you know, Chris Paul had missed some easier shots in the first half. Booker overall did a great job, but he, we knew he was going to get going to some extent as well. And it's really about weathering the storm and, and getting the same great looks offensively, but tightening up defensively. That's what we talked about in the timeouts. You did. You had a couple of timeouts there where one where you stopped all five guys in the court and talked to them, one where you kind of seemed to, like the other day when we talked about it, really kind of lean into these guys a little bit. I mean, you still feel like you need to kind of snap them out of some of the doldrums. At times, just a reminder of what we're doing well. And when I see the opposite, you got to obviously let them know. And like I said, we made a few mistakes defensively early in the third quarter. It allowed them to get a little bit of rhythm and cut the lead some. So just wanted to stop them there and talk it out first. And they can get back to the huddle and talk it to, talk it to themselves before I uh, sit down and you know drop a play or whatever. And so really wanted to stop them, get their attention. And, and these are things that we discussed, things we did well in the first half. And let's continue to do that and close out with the win. And uh, Rob, with the triple double, you know, his passing, you guys were cutting a lot. It seems like you're cutting a lot more often th this time. Um, was that just a function of the the Suns not having their full load and, and having a rim protector there? No, we really saw some things that we could exploit with their defense. Uh, had a good practice yesterday and saw a lot of great carryover today. So we wanted to play out of our bigs. Uh, we had 28 assists, and Rob and Al had 17 of them. So we wanted to play out of those guys from the high post some. Um, you know, didn't really matter about the rim protection. It's more so that and then not relying on one guy uh, as much as we did with, with Jason out and just putting in Jalen Towns. So we wanted more movement off ball. We knew we'd get our isolations and pick and rolls eventually as well. But uh, that was the game plan going in to really go through those guys and get more off ball movement. And, we, and it, it worked well, obviously. And what went into the decision to start Grant? More size. In general, we were going to be switching a lot. Didn't want to have Paul and Booker and pick and rolls all night with, with bigs and drops. So we wanted to switch more as we did with Al and, and Grant to start and just have more size on those guys when we switched on to them. Tell me after that shooting performance the other night, did you have to say anything to these guys about that? They obviously still had their confidence shooting the ball right at the start. Yeah, we showed the film yesterday and, and uh, I would say close to 30 of those 42 were excellent wide open looks. So we showed uh, all the extra passes and, and contested looks that we did pass up and, and had open looks. And so had a good day of shooting as well. Uh, besides the cleanup and off ball stuff that we had some carryover tonight, we shot it well tonight, got a ton of shots up. And like I said, you have to turn the page and, and have a short memory as far as that. And looks will be there. Obviously, didn't shoot the same tonight. They're not playing as much zone or whatever. And so the shots fell early. And, and that's obviously a confidence builder for guys. But that's my main thing, stay confident. And, you know, turn the page and have a quick memory. And the way Rob is passing the ball, he tied a career high in assists. Um, how much more are you able to work that into what you're doing? Yeah, it's a big part of it. As I mentioned a few weeks ago, I didn't know how good of a passer he was. Um, you know, obviously we would do some of that stuff with Al, you know, coming into the season, but really saw what Rob can do there as well. So you can run through stuff through both those guys, um, you know, but it's more so not being stagnant when the ball goes into them or goes to them at the high post. And so our, our movement cuts were great. We played with pace and variety today instead of just kind of crossing pass uh, you know, off the ball. And so the slips, cuts, like I said, we knew we could exploit some things in our defense with their small switching and had some good duck-ins with our bigger guards and bigger wings. I mean, speaking of Robert, it's been an up and down month for him. And you called him out after the Minnesota game. On nights like this, what does it show you uh, about his ability to bounce back and obviously you know, also his potential of his impact on kind of all sides of the ball when he can defend like that, but also pass, yeah. rebound, block shots? Yeah, he's more than people think he is. And you know, I, I told him about expanding his game, you know, the role, the minutes, everything increasing. And, and what we see, you know, is a, a high, high ceiling from him for a lot of different reasons. And so... You know, he's one guy that I know could take coaching, take coaching hard. And so I don't really look at it as calling him out. I just, you know, obviously 
told him the same thing about keeping yourself in the game. Some of the fouls where he left his feet and the reach in to get his fifth foul in the game like that where we're short of bodies. And so he's what, he's been a guy that's been resilient and bounced back every time I've challenged him. And I love that about him. Is that a good practice? I mean, a practice, but just holding on. I mean, they didn't pull their stars till a minute, le- 30 seconds left. It wasn't like they were, they threw the towel on yeah. five minutes left. I mean, they kept trying to come at you. Was that kind of a good rehearsal to, to for a team that knows how to play so well together to keep coming at you? Yeah, it is. I mean, um, they were giving some different looks here and there out of timeouts, and I think our guys responded well to him. We've seen quite a bit of zone well, so we're a little sharper as far as those things. Um, and just in general, uh, we have good solid three, four sets that we like to run against zone, and then you just have to make the shots. And so it was good to weather the storm. Obviously, we've had – that's been an area of concern this year so far, and we've given up enough leads. So, I, you know, I'm not thinking about taking guys out in a minute or so left until it's, you know, almost done. And even with that, we just wanted to close out the game and finish the 30 seconds. So good rehearsal against a good team. Um, you know, just got to do it again now. You guys, obviously, without point guards the past couple of nights, uh, or your starting point guards, um, what impact did you see that Marcus Smart had on this game? You know, he's one of our more cerebral guys that knows when and who to get shots for uh, without me having to call something. Um, he he's kind of settles us down at times. You know, he gets sped up as well. And, and I, you know, tell him, obviously, you're the veteran out there. We can't have turnovers. We got to get shots. And when you're shooting, you know, 50, whatever, 54 percent, just get shots and not. So he got sped up a few times there. But for the most part, um, he knows exactly what we want and who we want to get it to. And so he was great as far as that. Got some obviously some big buckets early on in the game and then in the third and fourth quarter. But just a steadying presence out there. Um, you know, you're missing him and your backup and relying on some younger guys who haven't been in the situations this year. You're going to see some ups and downs. Let's wrap it up right there. Thank you, coach. Thank you.